good Saturday morning, everyone. I hope you all had a happy and lucky St. Patrick's Day. I forgot to wear green, but I live vicariously through Harlow. She was adorable. If you want to see her St. Patrick's Day get up, watch yesterday's vlog. There's a link in the description of this video. And last night, Judd's sister came into town and I stayed up way too late having fun with her. I have a strict sleep schedule because of my narcolepsy. Go to bed at 10, wake up between 8 and 8.30 every day, but last night, stayed up until like midnight just laughing with her which to me it was worth it even though i know today is going to be a hard day with my narcolepsy and being really sleepy but hey gotta have fun when you're able to and um, she's here because judd is swearing in at his new job on monday morning he's going to be a sheriff's deputy and um my dad and his mom are coming into town on sunday to see that too so lots of family lots of fun we're going to take lauren to one of our favorite restaurants today in the amish market and we're just so excited. Just a heads up, I am not gonna make a vlog on Tuesday, the 21st, this coming Tuesday, because I'm gonna be taking all of the raw footage and videoing myself for the videos about all my chronic illnesses, and hopefully I can also get to the one about my port and my infusion for my POTS. I really wanna get all those um, raw footage clips out of the way so I can edit and put them together. While I'm doing that, I really won't have time to vlog, plus I'll just be sitting in front of the camera all day, so. No vlog on Tuesday. If you don't see a vlog, that's why. Don't worry about me. I'm totally fine just videoing myself like a weirdo. <laughs> and that's it. I'm just gonna wait for Judd and Lauren to wake up so we can start our exciting day. My morning ritual of force feeding myself club crackers. I have to eat at least two of these to take my morning pills or my pills will make me sick, but eating in the mornings is so hard for me. I'm sure some of y'all can relate, so I'm like, oh, <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do though. Crackers down, time for pills. Some of y'all may remember I was eating better in the past few months than I am now. Well, I wouldn't say my gastroparesis is in a flare right now, but maybe I'm getting into one. And that has to do with the fact that I'm not on steroids anymore. Uh, steroids are really bad for your body. They do help with my allergy and asthma. So I was on them 24 seven when I was in and out of the hospital January and February, but now I'm off them. So good that I'm off them, but now my gastroparesis is coming back. So you win some, you lose some. Well, we are ready to go. Lauren's awake, Judd's awake. This is his sister, she's awesome. Say hi. <laughs> How old are you? 26. And Judd is 22, so she's a little older. Four, four years older. Four years older. And she is an engineer. Yes, roadway. Pretty cool. Like, you just graduated with your master's from FSU, right? Yes, cool. finally. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna have lots of fun today. We're gonna show around town, and y'all are coming with us now. Yay. Carlo, with me. Excited for the dog park. Carlo, with me. With me. So Lauren got Judd this awesome shirt. Here, let's show them, babe. It says Juan Solo. Muscle, show that muscle. <laughs> it says Tex Mix, the flavor awakens. <laughs> and there's Hippo. Playing some fetch. Don't run into the tree. <laughs> <laughs> She's done that before. <laughs> no, no. Yay! Good girl. Cool. You're getting good at it. Oh, we are in the car. Somehow we managed to all fit in here, the four of us. Oh, there's Harlow. All right, and we picked up Judd's uh, uniform pants that were tailored yesterday because he starts Monday, which is awesome. And now we're off to get lunch at one of our favorite Italian places. Gonna get some pizza. Italian. <laughs> Yummy. Being a good dog laying in the corner there with her head down. You like your new shirt, babe? I do. It's awesome. So we are at one of our favorite restaurants where we like to get pizza. And my favorite kind of pizza is the pizza. <laughs> I forgot I have my mask. <laughs> my favorite, all right, we're just gonna ignore that. My favorite no, that kind of pizza <laughs> is uh, meatball pizza, so I would love to know what your favorite kind of pizza is. Can y'all see the resemblance with the bright red hair? When Judd used to grow his hair out, he had bright red hair like that too. Where's your dimples? <laughs> Where's your dimples? Garlic cheese bread. It's delicious. <laughs> Yes. Meatball pizza. This one is cut in squares, which is kind of weird, but at first I wasn't okay with it, now I am. <laughs> well, lunch was amazing. Now we are off to the Amish market to pick up some groceries. It's gonna be fun. 
Well, we're at the Amish market and Harlow just did something wonderfully annoying. It's funny though. It's not funny. Because I said that she didn't need I to pee. I blame him. It's my fault. So I I, we got out of the car and I was like, we got out of the car and I was like, should I let her go pee? And Judd was like, no, she'll be fine. Lauren's like, she came before we left. I was like, all right. And there was literally like, like 10 seconds later. 10 seconds into the store. <laughs> this dog hasn't had an accident in like six months. Long time. My bad. <laughs> anyway, Judd ran, grabbed some paper towels, cleaned it up, went to the car, took Carlo out, make sure she was empty, and then like got our cleaning supplies from the car. Because it was my it fault. <laughs> totally cleaned it all up. Everything was good. We did nose goes. We lost. <laughs> that was uh, not fun. But like I said in not yesterday's vlog, maybe the vlog before, I recently said no matter how well trained your dog is, accidents can always happen. And Carlo's accident happened to be today, but it doesn't mean she has bad training or she's sick or anything like that. She just needed to go. I should have let her go before we came in the store. <laughs> Instead of listening to me. Yeah. <laughs> Carlo, this is the culprit. Oh, she looks so happy with herself. Don't take that smile off your face, you silly dog. <laughs> And the culture dog. Now she's been really good. Tomorrow when Judd's mom comes in and my dad gets in, we're gonna have a steak dinner, so we're picking up some steaks. So I had to come back to the car. While I was standing at the meat counter, I actually started falling asleep while standing. That's how intense my narcolepsy can get sometimes. And like I said, today is gonna be a hard narcolepsy day. Plus my legs began hurting, getting weak and giving out from blood pooling from my pots. So Judd brought me back to the car and he and Lauren are gonna continue shopping. I debated sharing about Harlow's accident because I know the service dog community can be kind of critical sometimes, but I wanted other service dog handlers and people who are considering getting a service dog to know that no matter how well trained your service dog is, accidents can happen. They might suddenly feel sick and get diarrhea or puke, or they might just have a lapse in judgment and poop or pee, or you might forget to let them go, like what would happen with Harlow and she'll pee in the store. And I really should have let her go before we went in, but it was my fault. No, I didn't get mad at her for going in there because I know it was my fault. And she is potty trained. I don't think it means she's, you know, has bad training. It's just that accidents happen. I'm not perfect. She's not perfect. Service dogs aren't robots. And like I keep saying over and over again, accidents will happen. She hasn't had an accident though in like six months. So this was totally surprising for me. And what we did is Judd ran, found some paper towels, cleaned up the pee itself, then came to the car, let Harlow try to use the bathroom again while he was out here and she was empty grabbed the Clorox wipes we keep in here, brought them in, really cleaned the floor. I mentioned it to a store associate and they were like, oh, you cleaned it up? Perfect, thank you. Now, they can legally ask us to leave the store because Harlow used the bathroom in there, but if we come back another time, they can't deny us access based on a previous experience. Same thing if another service dog is in there and like bites somebody or has an accident, they can't deny me and Harlow access based on what another service dog has done. So yeah, it's, um. It was a little embarrassing, I was a little flustered, but thankfully when I have Judd and Lauren there to help me, it's easier to handle. When I'm by myself, and I've had like puppies I've helped raise um, have accidents, uh, I've found that other people like are eager to step in and help, so it was fine. And like I said, accidents happen. So next time we'll let her pee, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bill. Hippo, we still love you even though you peed in the store. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> he does. Don't listen to daddy. You come stay with Auntie Lauren. Can't trust her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> she looks very content with herself. I think she's fine. <laughs> well, we are home now. I'm really not feeling great. Judd and Lauren are downstairs. They're gonna watch a movie and Sometimes when you're chronically ill, even though you really want to hang out with friends and family, you just can't. You have to set aside time to do what's best for your body. Like, I'd love to be downstairs with them right now, but instead I came up here to do my second breathing treatment of the day, and I know the best thing for me to do right now would be to take a nap. So I'm gonna do what's best for my health, take a nap, and then <laughs> basically try to feel like a human again, and I will see y'all when I wake up.
Actually, I think Hippo's gonna join me on this napping adventure. Are you happy over there, Hippo? Good girl, you look comfy. <laughs> I have risen from the dead. I'm feeling better. And Judd is getting his uniform ready for Monday. How you feeling about it, babe? Feeling excited. Not nervous? No, not at all. That's good. This is literally the perfect career for you. We got Ellie over here. <laughs> Do you see that? I did, I watched it fly in. That thing is huge. Where's our little meter? Look at that, it's just like, yes, this is my spot now. It's pretty cool living out here with all these birds. But then they poop on our cars. Yeah, that is a problem. <laughs> Up there you go. That branch. Cool. Smile. Making green beans, mashed potatoes, and pork chops, oven pork chops for dinner. It's going to be really tasty. I noticed I do thumbs up a lot. Like a lot, a lot. This could be a drinking game. Take a shot when Jackie does thumbs up. <laughs> of water. Yeah, of water. Or your meds. <laughs> Dinner is served. Looks delicious, smells good. <laughs> More, it's a video you don't have to post. <laughs> Should I <get> you to <laughs> <test>? <laughs> All right, I hope y'all like the food. Yay. <laughs> okay, so Judd found raccoons in our tree. First the big bird, now a little raccoons. This is an exciting Look, day. Look, <laughs> it's little raccoon butt. And my camera is amazing. My old camera would not have been able to do this. Cool. We're out here enjoying raccoons after dinner. Harlow's. And hippos. Even though she peed in the store today. <laughs> oh, okay, so I gotta be honest and say real quick, I'm a little worried about my gastroparesis. I think I had less than like 1,500 calories today, which isn't good. A little nervous to check my weight, but I'm gonna do it later tonight. Hold it up higher so I can be in there. You're too tall. All right, well, we are ending the vlog and we'll join, you'll join us tomorrow on our exciting day, which I don't know what we're doing yet, but it's gonna be fun because Lauren's here. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us on our adventure. Have a good night.